With Logic Pro for iPad, you can record audio with a microphone or a DI instrument like electric guitar or bass. You can connect just about any USB core audio device, so most audio interfaces are natively supported. I'll also demonstrate how to record into take folders, just like the Mac version. However, one drawback is that you cannot use quick swipe comping on the iPad. Although you can move your projects over to a Mac and complete the quick swipe comping there. Now for recording audio, um, the first thing you wanna do is make sure again that you have your audio interface set up properly. So again, under the settings, under audio, make sure that your audio interface is selected as the input device. You may also wanna change the buffer size to the lowest setting for recording. And you can also choose to auto select audio devices. So what this will do is it'll just automatically detect any audio interface that you plug in. I have a microphone plugged into input two on my Symphony desktop. So what I'm gonna do is create a new audio track here. And for this audio track, I'm not going to use any audio patches, but what I do wanna do is I wanna to go to uh, the track options here, and I'm gonna click at the top. And this is where you can adjust your audio routing, your input and output on that track. So if I go to input, what I can do is I can change the format of this track to mono and then I can change the input to input two where my microphone is selected. So that's how you can set your inputs and your track uh, format. And then I can just click on this track. Let's rename it. And then to record, all I have to do is record enable the track and then I can either hit R to record or I can hit record at the top. Now here's the thing, overlapping audio recordings will automatically be packed into a take folder just like in Logic for Mac. The downside is you do not have access to quick swipe comping like you do in Logic for Mac. However, if you record all of the takes here on iPad and then you move your project over to your Mac, you can still have access to those take folders and you then have access to quick swipe comping. So you can still do quick swipe comping. You just have to take the project off of the iPad and bring it over to a Mac. Okay, so I've got my mic hooked up. I'm gonna just basically hit record and I'm gonna sing in a, a couple takes of this song. Again, bear with me, I'm not the best singer in the world. And what I'll do is I'll show you a simple way of using the split tool to create basic composite takes, even though we don't have quick swipe comping here. Tell me how you love me. Tell me that you need me. Tell me that I'm everything you want me to be. Tell me that you feel this. Tell me that you need this. You've got it bad. You've got it bad, so bad, so bad. Okay, so now to do another take, I'm just gonna record right on top of this, and it's gonna store both takes in a take folder. you need me tell me that i'm everything you want me to be show me that you're fearless girl i got your weakness you've got it bad you've got it bad so bad so bad okay so part of that take was good part of that take had some wrong lyrics in it one thing you can do is you can tap on the region tap again and then go to takes and folders, and you can jump back and forth between the first take and the second take. So what I wanna do is I wanna use the first take for most of this, and then there's two spots in the middle where I want to bring in the second take. Now the way you can do this without quick swipe comping is you're gonna use the split tool, and the split tool is basically like the scissors tool in Logic for Mac. You drag this around, and then you swipe down and you can cut the region at different points. So I'll do the same thing here. And then I can just delete these extra regions. Now let's listen to that again. And what I'm gonna do is listen in for the spot where I made the mistake. Tell me how you love me. Tell me that you need me. Tell me that I'm everything you want me to be. Now that's pretty out of tune there. Again, I apologize for my bad uh, vocal performance, but let's cut that right there. Tell me that you feel this. Tell me that you need this. You've got it bad. You've got. And then one more right here. 
So again, I'll just use the split tool, drag down. So this whole part here, so I guess may, basically I'm using more of take uh, two than take one. But what I can do now is I can tap on this, go to take folders and switch this over to take two. So it's gonna be take one, then take two, then take one again. So let's give that a shot. Tell me how you love me. Tell me that you need me. Tell me that I'm everything you want me to be. Show me that you feel us. Girl, I got your weakness. You've got it bad. You've got it bad, so bad, so bad. Now again, like I said before, you can take this project and you can move it into Logic for Mac and you can still use quick swipe comping. The take folders will still be there. But if you want to flatten down your takes into new audio regions, you simply tap, tap again, and then you go to takes and folders and you select flatten. So that's just going to, you know, basically get rid of all other takes other than the selected takes. You can totally do that here if you want to. And in the compressor, you've got all of your different uh, compression circuits, just like you have in Logic for Mac. So here I'm using the vintage Opto. And I can go ahead and add reverb to my vocal as well using the same reverb bus I created earlier. So what I'll do here is on my vocal track, I'll create a new send, go to bus, choose the reverb bus, click on the amount, pull that up. Tell me how you love me. Tell me that you need me. Tell me that I'm everything you want me to be. Show me that you feel us. Girl, I got your weakness. You've got it bad. You've got it bad. So bad. So bad. So not the best uh, vocal performance ever, but uh, you know, it's a proof of concept. I think you get the point. So as long as you have a core audio, USB audio interface, you can hook it up to the iPad and you can do site recordings. You can do recordings on the fly. You can bring this out to musicians and, and collaborators' houses and work with them You know where they are instead of asking them to come to you. I already have some sessions lined up where I'm gonna be taking the iPad along with my Symphony desktop and a microphone to go do some recording uh, sessions in a completely different state. Um, and again, this is just a really portable and convenient way to make audio recordings. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. And please let me know in the comments below what other Logic Pro for iPad tutorials you'd like to see. I plan on doing full tutorials for Beat Breaker and Sample Alchemy very soon, so definitely subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on when those tutorials go live. As always, thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.